Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at the beautiful add-on known as Power Select. Power Select is an add-on that is made available by the folks at Blender Sensei. And by far I would say this has to be the standard. This has to be how you should be able to manipulate things in Blender and also how you should edit and work in Blender. And for anyone who wants to take a look at this, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can check it out. And with that downloaded, we're going to dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this actually works. So with Blender simply open right here, if you've installed the add-on and how to do that is to go over to edit, go over to preference and install it. Once you install this, if you press N on your keyboard, you would see nothing. This is a select add-on and how it works is you need to click right here and make sure you have it selected right from here so this is a combination of what you can get with your tweak and every other thing in between now by default how you get to make changes right here in blender especially if you want to edit anything is by double clicking and then you rename it this is like the standard way of renaming standard way of editing stuff in several apps and right now this is something that you don't have in blender there's also something else that you don't have in blender which we're going to talk about but it just simply makes sense to see that with this add-on, all you need to do to edit a simple geometry is to double click. And this is crazy. So if we double click, we can select and then we can simply press S on the keyboard, scale things however we want it to be. And you can start modeling. And once you're done, double click and you're out. And I think this is just pretty awesome. All right. Now, several things that you can do with this include that you can even select anything. So it doesn't really matter if it's a simple geometry or what you can select anything and you can just make changes and you can move things around. You can select all the things at once and you can still move them around. This is something that you need to switch over to the tweak mode directly in Blender by using the Blender default selection tools to be able to do. Now, this even makes more sense in case you're trying to do things like editing a simple call, throwing a simple circle right there. We can just simply click, drag to a position where we want it to be and to edit it double click and you're good to go so we can double click and get that there and i can select this and then move this however i want and if you like to select things as you proceed you can just simply turn this off and you can make selections like this now somewhere else where this thing makes a lot of sense is also when you're trying to edit things like text so let's say for example we just double click and jump out of that let's make sure we have our 3d cursor right here hold down shift and tap a on the keyboard go over to text and click now by default how you get to edit text every other place is double click put the name and then you're done and that is actually something that is possible with this add-on so double click enter the name so for this we can just type in the word blender and you're done and once you're done just double click and you're out and you're thinking about amateurs okay you're trying to do some rigging go over to amateurs add a single bone and then how you edit this is as simple as that double click click right here tap e on your keyboard make your extrusions and that is how simple it is and at any point in time you want to make changes just simply click and tweak those things to your liking so you don't necessarily need to be you know switching back and forth to be able to do any of these things now this things start getting very interesting in some other cases now let's take a look at a simple object like this i'm just going to go ahead and make a copy we set these to a subdivision level of three and make sure we have a smooth shade so by default if you're trying to edit and you go in and press tab on your keyboard you would notice that we have the cage now let's take a look at the modifier and see what is responsible for that cage so if you go over to your subdivision modifier you'll see the on cage icon is turned off and that is why we get that now if we go in and turn that back on you would see what we can get and by default when you're working in blender you would not be able to edit in a subdivision sort of mode where you can see everything that you're working with and depending on the kind of project or the model you're working on these might not actually come in handy so how does power select make this even better so for you to get this happening you need to switch select power select double click and then you can see that the on cage is automatically turned on which gives you a smoother subdivided mesh editing mode right here in blender and we can do some stuff so let's extrude this and at this point you can tell and see exactly what the final product is going to look like instead of switching back from object mode to component mode, object mode to component mode, which will take you so much time. So once you're done, double click and you're out. And again, there is some very cool, lovely stuff you can do with this. We can simply double click, right click, subdivide, 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 and let's take a look at something. So once you're working with Blender and you're within the edit mode, there is a couple of, you know, a component selection which deals with the vertices, the edges, and also the faces now depending on what mode you're working on 
the tweaking or the selection type is sort of different. Now, how this works and why this makes more sense is if you're within your face mode, naturally, once you're within your face mode, you want to select a couple of faces, extrude them and do stuff. Now, you no longer need to hold down shift. All you need to do is click, drag, and you are good to go. So you just have something as cool as this. Press E on your keyboard, extrude that, press Ctrl B, and there you have your sweet, sweet bevels. And if you're done, double click and you're out. If you want to do some more stuff, especially with your edges, you can double click, switch over to your edges. And in this case, let's say you want to manipulate a particular part of your edge, you can select and manipulate that part. Now, what is responsible for this? Why can't we do a simple mouse click drag selection here? What is responsible for this is the tweak. If your tweak is turned on on any of these component selection modes, it simply means that you are ready to tweak any of these components but if it's turned off it means that you are ready to select stuff so this is something that is really really cool so we can go in make some selections like this and you're good so instead of tapping c on your keyboard and you know you're going back and forth you can just simply click on this button select what you want do whatever you're looking for and proceed if you're right here within you know your vertices you can just choose to select random vertices like this or select a couple of vertices like this and do whatever you want jumping out of this let's take a look at something i have also you know wanted to see before now and this is going to be best if we choose to use suzanne as you know the culprit for this one so let's go ahead and grab the monkey and see how this works most times if you're working in blender you want to select the front you want to select the back of an object but to do this is a bit tricky you need to go over to the edit mode and within the edit mode you need to go over here where you have your wireframe and then you can start making that selection this is not how you should work this is literally something you shouldn't be doing in the first place so how does this work how this works now is super super easy for you to select the front and the back of any of these things you need to hold down alt on your keyboard click and drag and that way you can select it let's press the period key to zoom right there and that is it if you want to do that on something else like this so let's just double click and go all the way out you can do that as well so let's select double click you want to select the back and the front okay hold down alt on your keyboard click and drag and you are good so all the time of switching to wireframe making that selection jumping out of wireframe saved you now have these things at your beck and call and you can do stuff with it let's do that here as well double click hold down alt on your keyboard click and drag and you are good and this is just super super nice now there is also something that most of you guys might be asking and that will be does this work for uvs of course it does of course it does so for you to actually work with uvs right now you need to select the object let's go over to uv editing and with everything selected right now i'm just going to go ahead and click on this button to make sure that this is here and it doesn't disappear once i click something else so if you click and hold you can select the power select all right so you can choose the power select and at this point you can also choose to do a selection so you can make a painting to make a selection and you can also choose to tweak and of course if you want to do the whole marquee thingy yep you can so you now have all of these things at your own back and call and you can use them for anything that you want so this is more like you know one of those cool ways that you really wish you could work with in any 3d app especially blender and it's very cool to see that there's an add-on that actually offers this for you and you can start working with it now if you're thinking about settings there are several settings that you can work with and these things are left for you to tweak however you want so if you click on this tiny drop down button here there's a basic setting which you can tweak depending on what you want and all of these things are saved so it simply means when you come back you don't need to go in and retweak this. The power select preference actually remembers everything that you're working on. And just in cases like this, where we already, you know, defined this not to be tweaked, it actually sees it as that and saves it. So once you close your blender and come back again, it simply remembers. And if you set this to be tweaked, if you close your blender and come back again, it also remembers. So this is a very, very lovely add-on. And of course, I'll suggest that you guys should take a look at it. And I'm going to put a link in the description where you can see it. And this add-on is available on both Blender Market and also on the Creators Gumroad. So for anyone who wants to check out these things, it's made available by the folks at Blender Sensei. You can check it out and see what and what you know see what and what you can do with it is currently supported for 2.9 all the way to 3.0 
And at the same time, the creator does have a couple more things like the power referencing, the power lattice, and snappy keys. And you can get all of these right here on his Gumroad. Or you can go over to the Blender Market, go over to this page on Blender Market and check this. Link to this is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out and tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with the tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.